Hello and welcome to The Money Movement. Today we're going to be talking about something called inflation. So what is inflation, why should you care, and what's it all about? So the definition of inflation, if you were to ask a very clever economist, would be the gradual rising of prices in the economy over a prolonged period of time, which is a really boring way of explaining it. So you might have noticed that some products, you'll go to a supermarket and you think, I, I thought these were cheaper, or they used to be this price. And the one that I always think of is a Freddo. So when you were on your way to school, you used to be able to pick up a Freddo for 10p. But if you now go down to Tesco, you'll pick it up for 25p. So that's like 150% increase in the price of a Freddo. So that's been done over sort of 10, 15 years. But why is it increased in price? Why isn't it still 10p? And it's the same when people start working. You'll notice that their wages go up gradually each year, usually by a few percent. And it just happens automatically. Most employers have this built into their contracts and it's to combat something called inflation. So what inflation is, is in the world, prices rise gradually and they rise because the things that they need to put the products on a shelf rise in value and price too. So for example, as people want more money from their wages, that increases the cost of labor. As machinery gets more tech enabled and more expensive, it increases the price of production. As fuel gets more expensive, it increases that price of production. So if they're making that much profit, but the production costs increase, they're squeezed. So the only way they can keep the same profit margin, which is this bit here, is to increase their prices. And that's fine, because they're increasing their prices at the same time that all these companies are. So everyone has an increase in the price of things they buy, but hopefully the amount of money they earn. So this is why people don't want to leave large amounts of money in cash for a prolonged period of time. Because for example, let's say that inflation is running and it has run historically in the UK at about 2% a year. So that means that if you buy a pack of chewing gum for a quid today, it will cost something like one pound 2p in a year's time. It doesn't work like that. What you might find is that in five years time, they increase the price to one pound 10. That's more likely. But what happens is your cash account, your bank account balance usually grows at below inflation. So let's say that you're earning interest of 1% a year on your 100 pound, so you get a quid interest. But inflation's 2% a year, so that's two pound in every 100 that is increasing in price. So what happens is you could buy 100 pounds worth of stuff today, but next year you can only buy 99 pounds worth of stuff in that money because the prices have increased. So all it is, is inflation is when prices increase over time. So what you wanna be doing is making sure that your money is increasing at, at least the rate of inflation to keep its purchasing power, which is what it's called, the ability to buy stuff, or in exceed that so that you actually get more money and you can spend more in the future. So inflation, that's all it is. It's the gradual rise in prices. And you'll hear people say inflation linked, today's terms, in today's money. That is what it is. People are talking about inflation, what things could be worth in the future. And I'm sure your parents, if you ask them what they bought their first house for, it will be some ridiculous figure like 16p, that's inflation. As prices go up, the increase in price filters through the economy and you pay more for stuff. But hopefully they earn a lot more than they did in those days. So that's how everything keeps relative. So there you have it. That's what inflation is. And I hope it explains how it works and why the price of the beloved Freddo has increased to 25p. And if you have any queries at all, any questions that you don't understand, just drop them in the comments, reach out on social media. So please do comment and we'll engage with you. And until next time, you take care. So we're going to help you kick off your investing journey the way that we did ourselves way before the money movement started. And that's with an app called Ticker. It's where we invest our personal money and we think you should too. So if you want to find out why, it's a massive playlist up here full of content as to why you should invest via Ticker, how it works and why we think it's the best way to start investing. And if you sign up using our referral code, which is money movement, then you'll get five pound added to your account and a tree planted to help you save the world while you're investing your money. I'm going to say that it's 45p. 60. Yeah, I reckon it's 60. It's the easiest way to explain inflation, isn't it? Because oh. everyone knows how much a Freddo used to be. Yeah. How much did you say? 45. 25p. 25p? Mm. Really? Type in Freddo historical price. Someone would have been tracking that, I'm sure. The beloved milk chocolate treat is slowly increased in price over the years and usually retails at 25p. Oh, so it started at 10, now it's 25. That's fair enough, isn't it? That's, that's a big enough increase.